Good morning, everyone. So I have two surgeries today. The first one is a liposuction 360 with natural breast augmentation, so which is fat transfer to the breast. And my second surgery is a labiaplasty with clitoral head reduction. So my patient who's having the natural breast augmentation wants to go up a bra size, a cup size, but she does not want to have implants. So we're using her own fat to accentuate and increase her breast. So natural breast augmentation is great for patients who are looking for a natural shape. The fat transfer does not create that really round look that implants do or upper pole fullness. It takes the natural breast shape and just accentuates and there's also limitations on how much size increase there is. And usually I say the max is about a full cup size. I've developed a multi-step liposuction and fat grafting technique. The first step is to break up the fat cells into tiny little fat grafts. And that's what I'm doing with this custom instrument. I've developed a multi-step liposuction and fat grafting technique. The first step is to break up the fat cells into tiny little fat grafts, and that's what I'm doing with this custom instrument. I just wanted to show these tiny little fat grafts that I'm making. They are very small, they measure only a few millimeters, and these will be perfect for grafting. And also, the fat that's been broken apart swims in the numbing solution so when I remove it it just comes out really nice and evenly instead of tearing it aggressively with a large cannula. I'm using a very tiny cannula I actually count the exact number of strokes that I place in each section through each hole to match it exactly with the opposite side and it's important to do it really precisely for some section, which is going to be breaking up the fat graft again. So I've removed the fat. You can see how nice and flat it is. And I'm just gently pinching in all areas. You can see it's nice, thin, and even. And now the final step is to use this instrument again to break up any remaining fat grafts so it just spreads out like sand and makes it perfectly smooth. from her side and you can see what a significant difference this has made in her shape. It has this deep back crease on both sides so I'm going to very carefully cut those bands to make her back smoother. So now I've carefully rolled the patient so she's facing down and that completes the 360 degree liposuction. And it's really important when doing liposuction that each area blends seamlessly into so I've removed almost two liters total and I very carefully washed the fat with antibiotic solution, removing all the blood, removing all the numbing solution, and only harvesting the good, usable fat. Now I'm starting the fat graft into the breast, and I have a special technique of fat grafting that maximizes fat survival, where I place the fat grafts drop by drop in multiple layers for, multiple, for maximal fat survival. Very carefully, first I like to start by grafting the cleavage. hatching it so there's a three-dimensional precise placement of the fat grafts. 